Okay, so a lot of you guys were asking about number 11 on 2.0 problem set. Um, I did not plan this out super well, but a lot of this one to understand it, just you need to understand what it's asking. You need to understand that there's a new function given to you, and this function is called DEG. And don't get that confused with Pastor Gregory. Um, DEG F just means identify what the degree of function F is. And remember, this only is applying to functions that are polynomial functions, okay? So I just have two, ex two examples here. Um, this one I messed up. <clears throat> so if, if F of X is 2X squared plus blah, 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 it doesn't really matter what else there's here because when we're talking about degree, it only matters that, we're, that we look at the leading term, the highest exponent. Remember, degree means the highest exponent. So deg f would be 2, because this exponent is 2. We're assuming this is written in normal form, so this is the highest one, right? And deg g is 3, because this one has degree 3. So all you're trying to do is find relationships between deg f, deg g, and then the various uh, other things. So for example, in part a, we're trying to figure out how does deg f g, remember deg f g means f times g. Well, that means you need to think about what f of x times g of x is, okay? In our case, <clears throat> um, you can ignore the rest of the stuff, the very first term of the product is gonna be the product of those two things, right? So it's gonna be 10x, but what do I do with the degrees when I multiply two polynomials? You add, right? x cubed times x squared becomes x to the fifth. And then this is still plus whatever. So again, if I want to identify deg fg and ask, well, how does it relate to deg f and deg g, what's the relationship between these? There's going to be some sort of equality between these and this. This guy's degree is the sum of those other two degrees. <clears throat> so again, if you do, if you actually do the operation, in this case multiplication, and then look at how did the degree relate to the original degrees, that's what this is asking essentially. Now for part B, it says, what's the deg of 2f, I think, or 2g, whatever. Basically, you're multiplying the whole function by 2. So if I multiply 2 into everything here, does that change the degree at all? Does that do anything to the, to the exponents? It only, does, it only changes the coefficients, right? So deg 2f is the same as deg f. They're just equal. You do not alter the degree by multiplying a 2 through there. Okay? <clears throat> and then the last one is maybe trickier than the other ones. That's just because um, we might want a third one, h of x, and let's say, I don't know, 8x squared plus blah, blah, blah. Now, I made this so that it has the same degree as f on purpose, because this one's asking us what's going on when we take deg f plus g. Okay? Well, Let's ask ourselves, if we were to add f plus g in this case, or h or whatever, but let's start with this. If I add an f and g, these aren't like terms. This squared is gonna add with whatever this guy's squared term is, but which one is it gonna actually carry the degree from? This degree is larger. When you add these, the 5x cubed is gonna be now in front, and the degree is gonna be the same as this, right? So when you add two polynomials, uh, the new degree is going to be whatever the highest degree was between the two. And if they're equal, so that's why I put this one here, if they're equal in degree, then the degree will just stay the same, right? So that one you're going to have to put in words. It's essentially the highest, uh, it takes the highest degree when, when you add them between the two, but if they're equal in degree, it's just the same degree. So that one you have to, like I said, you probably have to put that in words. That should help you for everything you need to know for 11. Um, I really think after you did that thinking with me right here, I think 12 and 13 should still be doable. If you have more questions on 12 and 13, you can just reach out to me individually.